this video, American swordsmith Walter Sorrells will demonstrate how he makes a shirasaya for a Japanese tanto, or short knife. The shirasaya, also known as a resting scabbard, is used for storing Japanese blades. The technique shown here, however, can also be used to construct full practical mounts. The traditional wood used in Japan is a form of magnolia, but Walter will be using alder, a more easily obtained American wood. Here he splits the blank on the band saw. Next he planes it flat with a traditional Japanese plane. Once the appropriate thickness is reached, he lays out the overall shape of the tanto. He then cuts the general shape with the bandsaw. Then he cuts the blank in half at the point where the hibaki, or retaining collar, is seated on the tang. Next Walter lays out the exact outlines of the blade, scoring them with an exacto knife. Using a bent chisel specifically made for saya making, he chisels out the area where the blade will be stored. Ideally, the blade should only touch at the point, the cutting edge, and the spine. Any other contact will mar the blade. Once inside the saya, the blade should never rattle or move. The hibaki should seat perfectly with no gaps for a very tight fit. Once the fit is perfect, the sides are glued. Traditionally this is done with a paste made from rice. Here Walter uses a modern wood glue. The process is then repeated essentially the same way with the nakago or tang. Here, unlike with the blade, however, maximum contact is needed on all surfaces. This way, the blade is seated firmly and safely inside the handle. At all times, Walter must make sure that not only does the wood fit the tang of the blade, but that it lines up correctly so that the seams and grain will mate neatly with the scabbard surrounding the blade. The tang is then drilled through the mounting hole or makugiana in the tang. A small bamboo retaining pin called a makugi is then fabricated and driven snugly into the hole. Now comes the trickiest part of the whole process. The two pieces must be trimmed so that they join almost imperceptibly together. This can be done with a hand plane or with a disc grinder. Walter checks the fit constantly. Less than a hundredth of an inch is removed each time until a perfect fit is achieved. The outside of the shirasaya is now profiled with a variety of hand planes, including this radius plane. Traditionally, shirasayas are waxed with a boda powder, but here Walter finishes the saya with a modern furniture wax. And here's the final result. This video only skims the surface of the tools and techniques involved in saya making. This video is an extremely shortened excerpt from an instructional DVD Walter has made about making scabbards for Japanese swords. If you'd like to learn more about mounting or making Japanese style blades, check out Walter's full line of sword making videos at waltersorrels.com slash blades.